Hello, YouTube peoples. <clears throat> Just a little video update of the new year, I guess. Um, it is very cold out. In fact, it's a in Louisville, Kentucky. Like, I feel like I'm living in Alaska. This whole cold front thing is to go Midwest, I think, but, oh, uh, it's terrible. Um, well, not much has been going on, I guess. Christmas tree up here, I can see. Though it's way past the season. But, um, yeah, new year, new beginnings. That's always good, but not really. Does anything really change ever? No. I don't think. Oh, I think we just fool ourselves into believing that stuff. Everything can change. Everything can start again as a new beginning. Peace and prosperity for all mankind. But, alas, rinse and repeat been reading some recently started H.P. Lovecraft's At the Mountains of Madness which surprisingly I haven't read yet it's one of his most known stories I guess or novellas but I hadn't got around to it yet I've really been reading into Lovecraft mostly only Last year, 2014, it's sort of been this weird obsession I've been having with not just his writing, but with everything about him, everything about his beliefs, his, his political beliefs, his religious beliefs, his philosophical beliefs, his notions of the cosmic the cosmos and the universe and the great indifference it has towards humans and all these different deep understandings and themes that go into his work it also fascinates me just as much or maybe even more than the actual stories he has written and um, I listen to a lot Podcast and lectures about his life and stuff. And it's just, I don't know, just it strangely fascinates me to no end. It's like I go through these phases of obsessions, and now I guess it's Lovecraft. It was at one point goth, goth culture, goth music the history of goth, um, then it was, uh, like, LeVayan Satanism for a time, I know that's weird, but it was on my mind, and, um, different forms of spiritualities or beliefs in God, such as pantheism and deism and stuff like that, but, <clears throat> and let's see what Well, it's Batman, but that's always been there and never will leave. And, uh, the doors and stuff, yeah. Really trying to get everything I could on the doors. And watching documentaries, watching making of albums. 
tubes. But I don't know if it's a form of obsessive compulsive disorder necessarily, but it's definitely weird. But um, I have no real life, no real goals or ambitions, so I might as well just carry on and research this different stuff that I find pleasure in and let it consume me. Or else I just fall apart into depression and boredom. So it's like, I need these obsessions. I have one thing set in mind and um, I need to have that to function, I guess, without this one obsession, without this one thing that I like, I don't know what to do with myself, so I guess, anyway, long tangent there, I guess you'd say, but anyway. I guess that's it for now, so see ya.